Bada bing, we're live. Hello. Hello. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, so we were talking about a bunch of fucking, all the, oh, I don't know, what, what the hell we're all sorts of talking shit all today. Of, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the oil, you no, know, we were just talking about oil, though. We were just talking about, like, I don't know, you, you asked the questions, like, it's totally a good thought. Like, what the hell, can we run out of oil? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, that would be my biggest, like, concern. Like, Actually, can the, can the earth, can the earth run out of oil? That's like, it's like what would happen? Oh my god! Because like oil, I don't know. Oil Definitely be a war. A couple, a lot <laughs> yeah, of war. There already are, yeah. About a lot of war. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know. Oil, oil, you know, taps dry up. So, if that's to say, then you can eventually run out of oil taps, right? Well, it says on Google, the world is no longer at risk of running out of oil or gas with existing technology capable of unlocking so much that. Global reserves would almost double by 2050, despite booming consumption. Oh, so BP the Earth has does said, make oil naturally. Is that but is that saying? but is that a timely thing? Like it will well, always that's a, do that. That's what they're saying. We have the technology. Basically, what they're saying is like we have, keep making we have it. the technology to like um, get enough to make it la- to make it last, basically. And in that amount of time, it would already double what we had because of it, what it's creating that's what i understood from it so like it, the way it seems it's like we can't the earth just yeah. keeps making it and like we could sustain ourselves like with what we got and until by that time it would be oh, yeah, yeah, and a big plenty. thing like most people don't know because we were talking about like animals and dinosaurs did not make oil like oil is naturally made by like rocks compressing together I, yeah and just like it makes oil true yeah exactly because otherwise, how else would, like, it, you know, we would have ran out of dinosaurs by now. <laughs> <laughs> there were only so many of them. And, yeah, right. And then, the, oh and then how do you explain the, the architects digging up just, bo- like, bones of, of the dinosaurs? How's it's pretty that? impressive how, like, low those dinosaurs were down, like. Oh, yeah. Like, insane. Like, they do say, like, trees and stuff, like, put, like, inches on the ground, like, every year, like, or maybe not every year, but, like, every couple years, like, that earth keeps growing because the leaves pile up and they just degrade and make more soil. Yeah, it's crazy. The earth is technically growing at all times. Architects amaze me, man. Like, just the shit that they've found. And, like, Mm -hmm. reconstructed. Oh, my God. That's what, like, yeah, at some point, they had to sit there with, like, just a little brush. For like a year <laughs> just to get it out in one piece imagine the architect that like built like are you talking about uh or what is that called when people look up fossils and stuff architect is more or less building people like that like came up with building like uh, yeah that's totally true yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah archaeologist yeah there we go yeah <laughs> we're, we're getting things straight don't worry <laughs> yeah um what's up with that uh bus thing you were telling me about though Oh yeah, in New York, they're empty. All their like, uh, basically all their train cars they don't want anymore, and they just can't use anything. They basically clean them all up, and they're just dumping them into the ocean so they could become like these crazy giant coral reefs, and they become these giant massive like uh, superstructures. And we're hoping in like thousands of years, like it'll basically develop so big that it'll become a hunk of land that we'll be able to like live off of it, basically. So, uh, but how does that even work? That's what I want to know. Like. Basically, like, have you ever seen an old ship, like, down there, and, like, coral just, like, overtakes the yeah. ship, it, like, starts growing so, off of so it. So, is it just, like, is all, like, coral just, like, attracted to, like, that type of, like, I don't know, I guess yeah, that just habitat like, yeah, 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 type yeah. of dark, like, sp- small spaces? The good thing about it is that there's so much, like, it's not like the ocean floor. The ocean floor, it has to spread this way before it goes up, but, like... It's like a ship. It's there's so many closed spaces that it'll just grow so much faster, going each other way. Yeah, it's growing so down, up, left, like, right, always yeah. and shit. Yeah. Okay. N- now, are they putting the like subway carts or whatever? Are they putting them in different places or in one general area? Uh, it looks like they're just kind of like spreading them out, but it looks like I mean, you could look up pictures on the thing. That kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Smacked you out. But I even uh, tagged you in it too. On so, Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll check that so, out. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nuts. I could check it out right now. It's up. Um. 
And it's not only that, it also adds, like, protection for, like, sea life and stuff like that. Like, there's, like, more habitat for, like, animals in yeah, a coral reef. Yeah, that totally so. makes sense. And, yeah, the one question I had that I asked before is, like, uh, did they... Oh, it's right at the top of my freaking news feed. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, like, what I asked was, like, if they cleaned the... Because, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. another whole issue. Like, how are they not, like, creating a whole other... Like, I think they get, like, fined or flagged by something, well, exactly, like, crazy... Yeah doesn't make sense i see nature box ads everywhere now <laughs> it's like they're like attacking me but in like a good i don't know i don't we know used to get them why are you attacking me no, with ads that i already like mm-hmm. it's just the internet it's the way the <clears throat> internet works uh oh my god there's a bunch of just giant train cars he's walking across the top of them what the hell on the on the boat look they're stacked they're li- that boat's full it's just like a <laughs> flat boat Giant yeah. flat boat. I yeah. mean, it's a cargo ship, but instead of containers, it's just bus cars. He's a front end loader and just fucking push oh them off. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's great though. Like, oh my god, we're gonna be able to like. Yeah, they literally just like dropped them off. Dropped we're gonna be able to do edge. so much with that in the future. Oh shit! One at a time. He's like picking them out, picking them off. Look at that! Oh my god. A tra- it's like a forklift. It's like a giant forklift. Yep. He's just like poking it off the edge. <laughs> I don't even know what all this is, man. See, oh my god. That. Okay, so I see after the idea. Five this years. is like picture of like a fish in the. Yeah, after five years, is the world's kind of growing yeah. everywhere. Yep, it's like the whole thing. It's the inside of the car, and it's all covered in all sorts of coral and fishes are everywhere. Fishes. Yeah, Fish. that's Fish. right. Fish. <laughs> Fishes. Uh, after 10 years. I don't even know Oh, my that God. Is. That is beautiful. It's all coral. Oh, my God. Yeah. Awesome. They're a rainbow, man. And a lot of fish. All right. That was it. <laughs> yeah. It's still pretty amazing, though. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. I didn't think that would ever be a thing. I guess that's like another form of recycling, if you want to call it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're giving <laughs> back to Earth in a way, doesn't actually. doesn't end up in a junkyard. Yeah, that's what I mean. Most more of them just wind up sitting somewhere that Rusting winds up out. like a like a forest, something like that. It's just <laughs> overgrown and like... Homeless man's house. That's what I mean, yeah. Something like that, maybe. Who knows? God. I don't even know. Um, what the hell were you... Uh, you got an ambassadorship with yes, the company? Yes, sand cloud it actually helps marine life too just like the yeah new york city buses um it actually every towards every purchase you get it's like 10 percent profit to saving marine life because oh, okay. there's they have so many orga- organizations that they actually give it to yeah they give it to like the marine conservative institute okay. um surf rider foundation pacific marine mammal center San Diego Coast Keeper and Hawaii Wildlife Fund. Huh? So they do it like how exactly they them. clean up the uh, marine life. Like how exactly do they go about doing that kind of stuff? So, I mean, you'd have to look into like each one of those companies that she just named. Mm-hmm. Like just yeah, just Google oh. them and like you'll probably figure out. Like, they'll probably explain what they do and how they do it. But that's a lot of companies. Yeah, that's they. Like, because I've seen pictures of some beaches after, like, festivals and stuff. Dude, it is disgusting. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's... the Marine Conservative Institute actually um, oh, works with right scientists, there. communities, government officials, and other organizations to identify key threats in the areas and seas and then okay. work to, like, keep them safe and protect them. Yeah. Um, Surf Rider is a grassroots nonprofit and oh my gosh i can't even speak environmental <laughs> organization that works to protect and preserve our ocean beaches and such issues like that so it's just preserving the beaches and yeah okay um <coughs> the pacific marine mammal center is a nonprofit organization that specializes in the research and rehabilitation of marine mammals so like they just help they hurt they help them awesome and the San Diego Coast Keeper is a nonprofit organization that restores fishable, swimmable, and drinkable waters in the San Diego County, which is kind of <laughs> cool because I was in San Diego earlier wow. this year. Oh, that's what's up. Um, and the Hawaii Wildlife Fund is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the conservation of Hawaii's native wildlife through research, education, and advoca- advocacy. I think I said that was so wrong. Advocacy. But okay. <laughs> you got yes. about right. 
That's what's up, though. And I'm an ambassador, so I like I share, yeah, like links, pictures. You promote it. I promote it. Yes. So it's the same same concept as like my affiliate links. It's yeah. Use yeah, and where can uh, where do you have those links? Um, my actually I have a link and a code. So like my oh, link okay. is like these like bunch of numbers. I'll actually put yeah. it in like a comment on the yeah, you video. Do that. That'd be cool. And then the personal ambassador rewards code is Megan M H twenty five, and you actually okay. receive twenty five percent off your purchase. And Megan is M E G A N. Yes. So M just to, capital just M E G A N <laughs> capital M lowercase H twenty five. Cool. That's what's up. Do it up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Save cause. Save some marine life. Absolutely. Like, and I mean, you buy clothes and what else do they have? Yeah. Like they have like clothes, like t-shirts, towels, and okay. the, actually the t-shirts are what is it? Unisex, so like guys can buy them or yeah. girls. Okay. They have a uh, hats, like I said, towels, tapestries. That's what's like, up. So so many things. I love it. That's a little something that anyone can buy. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And it's for a good cause. Mm-hmm. It's kind of. I don't know. How about you? Okay, you go to the grocery store, you go to check out, and they say, "Do you want to donate a dollar to a Children's Hospital?" You're yeah, fuck right. I do it every fucking yeah, time. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. do I. Yeah. Like, no, really, no matter what it is, like if it's if it's something like worthy enough for that for the store to like you know ask about it. Every Yo, if it's like customer. a child like with cancer, like blind kids no with cancer. Is, the yeah. one time we were at Turkey Hill, I think I gave them like eight dollars. Like I gave them everything I had in my pocket. Remember mm-hmm. that? Who's like uh? One time it was just like this, like little little leagues, like sport, like soccer team or something. I still did it. it was like, oh yeah, Girl Scout oh, yeah. cookies, yep. the Boy yep. Scouts when they sell the popcorn or whatever that is. Yeah. So even if it, it, yeah, it doesn't have to be much either. It's just like I always. I always you get know, something. I think for that one, I probably did like a lesser amount than like if it was like the children's hospital or something. Yeah, yeah. but you I, still contributed yeah, back. Absolutely, I mean. yeah. What's up with not a lot of people, like, giving back to the communities anymore? They're just, like, get so much more apathy where they think, like, the world deserves them something. Uh, Yeah, I don't don't know. So many things. People are, people confuse me. People Mm -hmm. always confuse me. I mean, nobody can understand people, but, like, shit, man. (laughs) I I heard a dude at my work, he's, he's from, like, he comes in, he inspects and stuff, but, like, he straight up said, it's, like, no offense, but, like, Americans are a lot more sensitive than other countries. Like, a lot oh, more yeah. sensitive. Absolutely, yeah. Like, they can get offended real fast. Yep. Like, Yeah, I don't know. We're just... says it's unlike any other country, and he's been, like, all over the world. But, like, there is and I, I agree, they're so sensitive anymore. There's a lot like, more, so like... people get, like, offended by everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's But, I'm, I'm t- like, back to, like, the roots of it, I feel like other countries are a lot more, like they're not as like f- like open open book they're oh, yeah, not yeah, as like yeah. free like you know do whatever you want kind of, they're more like strict I guess and I think that's probably like all like okay well you raise a kid you know if you okay you got you see this one couple that doesn't pay attention to their kid and like you know I don't even know just doesn't really pay attention to it at all you know doesn't do doesn't teach it much you know all that the kid's like nuts you know what I'm saying it goes like he just like doesn't act like properly, you know, with certain things. Whereas like if you, you know, with like strict parents or something like that, more stricter parents, or you know, just with like, you know, basic, you know, courtesy and shit, the kid like typ- typically is more like, you know, I don't want to say like calm, like I don't know, just more respectful, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But it's like that's kind of the whole we're. It's the same con- concept between like the U.S. The U.S. is just like okay, well, this is like the free country. So like, like they were babied. Yep, and, and we're just <clears> that's like, hey, what someone's gonna say. We America has babied the people mm-hmm. in their country so much that a lot of people think they deserve more than what the country has already given them and yeah. what your forefathers oh have like fought for for us. Like people don't take that for granted. They're like, oh, I don't like war. Stop the war. Like no guns. Like, what are you talking about? Like, we live this society. Yep. You're able to, like, work for, like, minimum wage because of, like, what, like, people have done for us in the past. Yeah, absolutely. We're the most free country. But at country. the same time, it could have been done. Those things probably could have been handled in better ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but sadly, like, there's a lot of other countries have, like, attacked us blindsided, like. Oh, but we've done a lot of fucked up oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to, like, <laughs> Indians, <laughs> like. We, we've done a lot of fucked up shit to like other countries as well so it's not like 
you know, we're not really any better in that sense. But to me, like, America is kind of like the police of the world. Like, you fucking up and doing a bunch of like bullshit, we like, be. we we will come down, like, we will show you the well, freedom that we, like, believe in. But here's the thing. I feel like we, we try to be, and we, we talk the talk, but, like, and when it comes down to it, like, we, we owe, like, so much money to, like, so many countries. So it's, like, a ridiculous. if it really amount. came down to it, it's, like, they're just going to, like... <laughs> yeah, be like... Is everything's yeah? I feel like we're just talking the talk. I feel like when it really came down to no, it, there's the only US like a be. couple countries that aren't in debt. Like everyone's in debt to each oh, well, other that's on this fucking saying. planet. Yeah, and that's a whole nother. There's like, only a couple that are issue. like literally not even in debt, and they're like rich as hell. And I wonder, like you know, when the fuck, like what the fuck is their plan to like get over that? <laughs> yeah, y'all owe you're each other beat. hundreds of trillions yeah. of dollars. You're, you're already you beat. You're you're screwed. Mm-hmm. You either have to. Everything just needs to stop, and you need to just like reevaluate you know, what the hell you guys are just doing. Wipe the know. slate clean. It's like never gonna work. It's all it's, it's like, gonna okay. keep going downhill. Exactly. I remember like in school they showed us like this screen of like I forget what website it's on. You can actually go to the website, and it like apparently I don't know if you can believe it, but it apparently like counts like our actual like national debt and like by in real time oh so, yeah like, you could go and you find it on look, the internet and it's like i just sat there and it's just a continuously moving going number up. going up and it's like so uh that like fast and it's like so okay this is what's happening right now it's been 20 <laughs> seconds <laughs> and we owe like fifty five thousand dollars. it's like, like what it's crazy it's i don't even get it man I mean, I'm not going to try to understand it because it's like, uh, yeah, I'm not like the global leaders <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Or, you know, you could, if the earth is flat, you could just walk off. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out this bitch. Oh, my God. I can't take it anymore. So many people on, like, Twitter, <clears throat> like, all about flat earth. And I'm, I'm just glad I haven't seen much on, like, Instagram. See, now that I said that, though, I'm going to get a bunch of that. The but earth is flat, bro. <laughs> you you don't just even yeah. know. Because I just, like, it's one thing to see, like, a post, and as soon as I see the word flat, like, I usually stop reading. But it's like, if I, if I gotta see pictures, then I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's like, a bunch of bullshit Photoshop like. pictures that people are like, these are the real pictures. The other ones are fake. It's a bunch of rubbish. I just, my main argument against that is, like, what, what do you, how do you explain the sun? What do you mean? Like, this, the movement in the sun. Oh, but everything just like rotating around the sun. Well, like if if it's flat, it can't really rotate like that, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it would just kind of get pulled down. I guess. Or That'd if be like weird. the flat Earth rotated, they wouldn't have the okay. They this wouldn't have the, the gravitational rotation. pull it did. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's no, if the enough. Earth was rotating and the sun's up here, well, everybody's getting hit <laughs> by the sun the whole time. So. Like a half a second, the whole like side of the Earth would be like literally pitch like, black. Well, I don't understand. Like, do they think? Oh, oh, you're just behind mountains, like. You know no. what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, come on. It's fucking round. <laughs> We're not on the side facing the sun at the time of darkness. I don't get it. People, there's another issue with Yeah, because that's like saying in Pennsylvania and California get dark at the exact same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. No, that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's like saying Pennsylvania and, like, China get, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get all, <laughs> that's the, we're talking the whole world here. Aren't we, like, like, 24 hours apart, something like that? I, don't, I think it's more... I don't know. China. <laughs> no. 24... 24... Well, by jet, maybe, I guess. That may... Maybe make... No, I don't even think that would make sense. I feel like that's way low. Beijing works. It's 12 hours ahead. Well. It's oh, literally 6.23 a.m. right now. I was about to say, 24 hours ahead of us would put us at the exact time we already Yeah, know. I don't know. I, I was thinking... No, I was... I thought you meant... <laughs> I was I like, thought, wait, what? I thought you I meant like, um, how, like how long it takes to get there. You know oh no, it's like I was just saying that's they're why 12 I said, hours like, ahead of us. Yeah, no, I didn't. No, to get there, I don't know. That's why I thought that. I think it would take saying. a long time. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. I know it takes, but doesn't it take like twelve hours just to get to Hawaii? Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how long did it take to get to Cali? Plane. Well, eight eight hours, I think. Well, we but we had a stop in between uh, but it was eight uh, hours like all together in, in the plane wait i don't know maybe not well yeah I was, I was thinking about taking that flight to texas and mm-hmm. um i think it's about five hours so that makes sense uh, yeah yeah so yeah hawaii would probably be about 12 ish 
<laughs> I assume. Well, because Steph, um, Steph went on the that. 15 hours. Well, it depends on where you're going to go, but Beijing is 15 hours and 45 minutes. Okay. That's no, it a has a stop, time. but I don't know if that matters. Yeah, it's still not going to be too long. Maybe by an hour. I'd really love to go see, like, Bangladesh. That's, like, the country I have in my mind I want to go visit. Bangladesh. Supposedly well, the I people, like, I've talked to so about. many people, read so much stuff, the people there are so nice. Really? I don't even know what and the they hell. see, what like, poor like? people, like, it's, uh, <laughs> look up pictures, I guess. I mean, I think it's beautiful. It's more of a tropical area that How I've do seen I at spell least. spell Bangladesh? All right. I think it's, like, Bang. Yeah, Bangladesh. Right, put bang in. L, bang L, L E. Uh, oh, here it is. There you go. I was about to see from here. It's so American. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Images. Here we go. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah, and the people like the, if they see like people like strangers and stuff, they like they feel the need to like give back to like other people. So like they get like people like understand the culture and like how nice of a country it is it kind of looks like very f like similar to just like i don't know the u.s like in certain middle midwood nope. u.s oh boy this is a big field looks like of just flowers yeah that's what kind of areas i want to go to just like out into the country that's what's up big cities giant look at this city. oh yeah there's some big 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 cities it's freaking like enormous. everyone's living on top of each other and yeah they're all like giant apartment buildings <laughs> every one of them i do have brazil oh you ever seen God. like the city of brazil like how all the like things just like all the houses are piled up on top of each other oh yeah look at this like rio this, de janeiro this looks like tokyo streets right here that is a all right, maybe a little bit more spaced out. But yeah, just they all got like bikes with like carriages. No, oh, yeah, it's like a lot of Asian countries. It's crazy. Oh my god. That way I know if someone like robs me, I'll be able to catch him. Like, <laughs> you ain't getting away on a bike, bro. <laughs> he's like loses you in that mass of people. So yeah, I'll start running on top of people if I can. <laughs> Stepping on head, man. Oh my god, we're trampling. I ain't getting stuck in Bangladesh. Fuck that. That would be crazy. Get everything stolen from you. Mm -hmm. We don't want that to happen. No. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. I'll bring a taser. Dude, so... I'll make someone flat. I really want to go to that class, man. There's a there's an on-it class on steel clubs in Texas. Austin, Texas. Well, that's their headquarters in on-it academy. I really want to go to it. It's really expensive, but it's like a full certification and I just gotta find a flight, man. I'm totally gonna do it. As long as I can find a flight. I think you should. Like, yeah, it's a definitely good without idea. spending too much money. Another thing, get a carry-on bag. Just take it. Go to a hotel. Do. Don't yeah, even. Yeah, that's what they. I looked. They don't even have like anything called a motel, but they have some real shitty hotels. So, not like shitty, but like small and like yeah, they're just really small. They look like motels. Yeah, they're probably hotels. I mean, like motel form. They're probably it's mm -hmm. called a hotel. It's called, like, I forget, it was like Sunshine Hotel or Sun, I don't know, something Sunny Sun or sunny something. Sunny Sun Sun. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, they were like, there's one, like, in every part of, like, Texas, it seems. And it's like, it's that one hotel that's, like, two star rating. And it's like, you know, it's just enough, it seems. So, like, and it's the cheapest. So that's what I'm going to do. You I only care. need it for, like, carry on bag. I need it for two nights, yeah. yeah. Because I'm going to go probably, because I can't, all right, get this. My work calendar is full that Friday and that Monday. It's on a Saturday and a Sunday, by the way. August 26th and 27th, yeah. So I'm going to leave the 25th after work, because I get done with work at 2 o'clock. So I'll leave, I get a flight, you know, sometime afternoon, evening. Probably going to leave from Philly. And so I'll get there. It takes about five hours, I said, if it's like, you know, no stops or no big stops. Which, from Philly, I was going to go to Allentown, go from Allentown, but most of those flights stop in Philly first. So, yeah, I was just like, uh, okay. No, you, you just know. go to Philly at that uh -huh. point. Like, so, I'll just go to Philly. That's um, such a small airport. Yeah. Let me tell you, I've been there on the way back from San Diego, but the flight got canceled. Oh, yeah. Before we came back, 
They were stuck in Atlanta, Georgia because of a tornado. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, the tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we had a friend at work that said he did get on a flight back. He said it was so scary. He went when the tornadoes were up. He said, like, what? Half the How did they flight. let it take off? I just sleep in an airport. They d- so she almost took off at one point, but then, like, they couldn't get, like, they someone. Maybe there. they know, like, they can, like, go around, like, the air. I don't know. That's crazy. That's sketchy. <laughs> like, he said the turbulence was nuts. That's ridiculous. He said he was sitting there, like, just accepting it. Like, he's sitting there with his daughter and his wife and, like, his pa- uh, her parents. And he's just like, yep, we're about all to die. <laughs> Maybe they just were worried about the plane getting, like, taken on the ground from the turn. So they figured, let's just get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what the hell was I saying? Oh, um, Philly. Yeah, like, so I'm going to take, take off from Philly about five hours, get there Friday night. So I'll have like the rest of Friday night, and I get I'll be in the hotel that night, and then I haven't I need to find I need to email them, and I need to find out w- what time it is Saturday and what time it is Sunday. So then what time it is Saturday just matters like when I get up and yeah. what I do that day, um, before and after I'll have before and after the class. I don't know how long it is. I'm I'm assuming it's probably like I don't know a work day maybe something like that. Because it's like it's a two day course, so it's got to be like pretty long. But then I would just need it for Sunday night no- or Saturday night. I need the hotel, and the main thing is I really need to know what time the class is done on Sunday, because then I need to get a flight from after that and get home just before I need to get to work by the next morning because honestly i'll sleep on the plane if i have to and just go straight to work but it's like i just need to make it to work (laughs) (laughs) it's it's shitty i wish i could get off that monday that would be because i would still leave friday then after work and it would be the girl i hope somebody cancels between now and then (laughs) maybe i'll try to talk them into like yo dude give you a dollar for a squirt of mct oil no, I don't want a dollar. No, I <laughs> what what kind? Uh, coconut. I was gonna say the vanilla one's empty. Yeah. I guess this is a full bottle of coconut. Cocoa. Um, is this fresh like out. That? Yeah, I got that and just the regular on MCT oil. It's good. I love it. I'm not a big fan of coconut or not coconut vanilla. Yeah, I don't, it was oddly good, but I'm not a big fan of vanilla either. But um, tell me when to stop. Put like half a teaspoon in. Even. That's pretty good. Hang on. That'd be good. It's all chunky. It's a little <laughs> thicker than it should have been. It's still going to be fine, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I mean? All right, that's good. Thank you. No problem, dude. I got to start doing splits again. Speaking of on it. So, oh, yeah, not just that class. That class is going to. I hope I get. You know, I hope I can go. But, now, do you have to like fill your place for like it? Like you have to sign up and be like, well, all you right, just have I'm to gonna pay be for it. Like as long as you pay, because what you do, it you, if you click on, it's like I saw the link on Facebook. It was like a video, and like a learn more button. I clicked learn more. It took me to a page of on it that told you all about the class. And then on that page, there's a thing that said sign up. And when I clicked on that, it took me straight to the checkout page to buy the certification. So the certificate, buying the certification is your placeholder, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, hmm. it's expensive, okay, just to put it in perspective, well, it's not expensive for what it is, but like in dollar, basic, everyday dollar amounts, it's expensive. Um, it's almost $1,000 um, listed, listing price. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's a two-day, it's a two-day full certification, so it's like, you know, totally worth it. Um, oh yeah, you can take that like, can't you take that like a lot of places I mean. and make yeah. your own class or uh, something? Yeah, essentially. But I'm gonna learn a lot more about it, obviously, before I pay for it. Mhm. Yeah. It's gonna That's be pretty cool. freaking awesome. But then, yeah, on it, um, they uh, they, st- they accepted my affiliate thing, which. I'm sure some people have already seen on Facebook and everything, which is awesome because, you know, now I can actually get some support oh, yes. from the company. Especially for since you've been striving for this ever yes. since you started this. Oh, yeah, I love them. I, just, I mean, 
it's just I've, I, I've been looking for their like some sort of partnership with them just because like I literally have like so many of their products and I love every one of them so it's like why not try to you know do something with it it's basically where I'm going with that so oh yeah and it's super easy especially because I have all their product I, I know all their products you know what I mean someone asks you a question you can always you always yeah. know the answer because you've tried it yep yeah that's but they awesome. I mean they they got some of the best freaking uh I don't know the most unconventional <coughs> workout tools I should say some of the best natural supplements and that's why I started getting into foods. it I've actually yeah. been eating probably healthier than I've eaten in a really long time I that's haven't good. been eating like red meat like I go out places I get veggie burgers instead of regular burgers okay. I had a steak like two weeks ago for our anniversary yeah so like what are you doing more like just vegetarian based yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I throw a lot of, I eat a lot of eggs okay yeah yeah, yeah like, I love more chicken. than a dozen a week I love oh yeah <laughs> I probably eat it about a, at least a dozen a week. Yeah, no, and set probably eat it, actually. Let me think. I have like almost three, three or four eggs every morning. So yeah, I eat over a dozen a week. Mm-hmm. No, I don't eat that many. Well, no, yeah, I usually eat like three I mean, or four. Maybe eggs not every time. day. You know, maybe not every single day. But if like, I make eggs, it's usually three or four. Mm-hmm. Yep, two pieces of toast. I usually make bacon. lightly butter. Bacon's been doing me dirty lately, man. Acid so, reflux. Yeah. It's like I'm fucking oh, like so burning yeah. up. A- I'm burping like up better. the acid. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, it seems like you're better. Like your body likes it better with like the vegetarian yeah. based. It used to be different. I used to love like meat, but I've always eaten plant. Like I've always eaten, loved eating vegetables yeah. and fruits and stuff. But it's like I feel better lately just eating a lot of plant and just little chicken. meat here and there. I mean, yeah, I eat chicken because like. I've heard a lot of stories and read a lot of stuff about like people sometimes their body doesn't react well if they just stop eating meat you have to start taking supplements and stuff so yeah. your body doesn't like it sick and start attacking itself yeah now, do you eat fish oh I love fish okay, I don't eat so it I often it. but I do eat that, it that's something that's like you know a lot of people that are vegetarian like that you know they like a vegetarian based diet more fish is like one of the main things that like is really good to eat because even chicken I have my buddy Nick that was here he doesn't even really like eating chicken. He eats, like, mostly just fish and all vegetables. And uh, some people, that it's just better. But, like, fish is, like, you know, super... Easy for the body to digest. And super nutritious. So, oh, like, yeah. So, like, it's a great thing to, like, if you stop eating meat, and if you start eating a lot more fish, then it's, like, you're not going to... You're probably not going to get those backlash effects from just yeah. stopping meat. I usually meat. stick fish to chicken, usually... Yeah, that's, good, that's right where we're at. Yep. Like, if we, like, ground well, I'm turkey. not going to lie. We use ground turkey for, like, fish tacos. Turkey's or good, not, yeah. yeah not, turkey turkey, tacos. turkey can be better than chicken in, in ways. Like, we get, like, really, depends. like, what is depends it? Depends what like, you're looking for, I guess. 75 or no, 90% reduced sodium. Uh, and it's, like, really extremely, extremely lean. So it's not, yep. like, oh, my gosh, I hate that. So, yeah, well, we use the uh, taco packs that are, like, 90%, like, reduced, oh, yeah. like, salt. So it's, like, not that yes. salty at yeah. all i mean it doesn't taste like like oh man like great but it's like it's it still tastes good i mean it mm-hmm. tastes like a taco and it's yeah. not like over seasoned like it usually is so yeah i get low sodium a lot of things oh my gosh usually we so, don't even put salt in anything unless uh-uh. it's like pasta or something i mean you have to like and but I, like we don't use a i lot. started using himalayan salt um, for most things that I do use salt like if I'm cooking because I do a lot of cooking yeah. and like I made that salad dressing and hot mm-hmm. sauce like from scratch from all organic I used Himalayan salt for that um, the only difference between Himalayan salt I've said this before I think on a podcast but whatever um, the only difference between you know right the Himalayan salt and well not the only difference I shouldn't say that and like uh, right, table salt or even sea salt. Table salt's terrible. Like you shouldn't even eat table salt. We use sea salt. Literally has baking soda in it. It's like, it's like it's lab made. Of, yeah, it's terrible. Sea salt's better. And the only difference between that and Himalayan pink salt is, uh, Himalayan pink salt doesn't have iodine in it, which is like mm. a nutrient that you kind of need. So like if iodized sea if, salt, yep. it's typically not. You know, you don't only get that from salt. So it's you're probably good even if you don't ever eat sea salt again but you know that's like if you let's say that was your only way of getting that you can't just eat himalayan salt because it's not going to give you that (laughs) oh yeah there's nothing really nutritious about salt like it's only good and low himalayan salt is half almost half the amount of sodium as like the same amount of sea salt 
not that bad. I mean, like, sea salt's fucking thick. And it's, I feel so, like it's, oh like, even taste. I feel like it's even saltier. Like, it's yeah, really yeah. Saltier. It's I could easily believe that. I, don't, I like getting, um, from Giant, they have, like, the Nature's Promise or whatever, their organic food. That's what I, like, Nature's Promise is, like, one of the main companies that I get, I get my like, candy my shit. from there. Oh, yeah, your candy? <laughs> like, the, the chocolate caramels with okay, the sea salt on you're it. you're right. They oh have a gosh. lot of... And I can only have, like, one or oh, two. Oh, no, those things are good. I, I don't I like chocolate, and I love them. They, okay. they do have some, some more organic, like, good chocolates and stuff, yeah. I've Believe it or not, that. I, like, make a lot of my own health foods. Like, I'll go out and buy, like, when, like, sometimes we'll go to the store, I'll go over to the bakery area, and I'll get, like, a huge Italian wheat loaf, and I'll just cut the whole thing up into, like, 80 freaking thin-ass slices, and I'll get, like, a thing with extra virgin olive oil, and I'll spread it on a flat pan, and I'll just spread rosemary and, like, basil and all this stuff on it, and then I'll just, like, dip them all and, like, flip them over real fast, put them on a baking sheet, and I'll, like, cook them for, like, what, like, five minutes oh, so at, like, yeah, so 350, like a... and, like, you eat two of them in the morning, like, I bet you in, like, an hour you're going to be starving. It literally kickstarts your metabolism. It's really? like, holy crap. <laughs> Cause that little bit of oil just like really kickstarts everything. Yeah, it's good. It's kind of like a nice toast, but it's like also kind of like a garlic bread without like the bad stuff. Yep, you know basically. So that's yeah, that's like you don't want to overdo it with the garlic or olive oil, olive but oil, just yeah. like a little olive extra oil's virgin. Good. I, I mean, go even sure. if you're trying to go low fat, olive oil's very low. It's one of the lowest in fat. I mean, there's people out there that like die hard. Like, will take like half a teaspoon a day of that stuff and put it in their mouth. Olive like, oil. Yeah. I put no, olive I oil in everything. Apple cider vinegar, I think. Yeah, you could do uh, any shot type of, of vinegar, that. Yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, there's. I saw this drink. Um, I follow this person on Facebook. I don't remember the name. It's another podcaster. That's why I'm willing to like shout it out there. But I, I wish I could remember the name. I'm not gonna look at it now. But, um, you hear that? What the hell was that? Uh, was it really that? Damn, that? Oh my thing. god! She had that thing. It, like, I thought there was like static no, or I'm something. I'm sorry, I cannot stop moving. That's so weird. No, it's fine. I just did. I thought it was like my mixer <laughs> messing up or something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, she she's got like this. Um, was the one day she posted about kombucha, and I drink kombucha all the time. So like, it was like a I don't know, it was like a super healthy salad and like a glass of kombucha. And then the next day I seen this other drink. She like, you know, it's like a bottled drink that she bought, but it's, it was like an apple cider vinegar drink. And it's very similar to kombucha in like, you know, it's like an all natural, like, you know, kind of cleaning your Your system, system, your system kind of drink. And, but it was like a 16 ounce bottle. And I, I don't know, I don't know if that was the whole, I don't know, could have been two servings, but you get the point. Like that's drinking apple cider vinegar is like super good. And I just didn't, I, you know, I've heard, like, people taking, like, a shot of it in the morning. Mm-hmm. But, like, I didn't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's not the only thing in there. So maybe there is only, like, a shot per serving. No, I'm pretty sure, like, my foster, I'm pretty sure it's, like, really good for your heart, too. Because I'm pretty sure my foster mom used to do it. Yeah, I have to like, look into up. that. I've been meaning to buy a bottle, too. I see every time I go to Giant. Maybe a couple, actually. But I actually use it for cooking. Like, if I'm making pasta, like, dude... When that water starts boiling stuff, right before I pour it in, I'll, like, grab, like, lemon juice, like, pour it in. Like, it's 100% lemon juice. It's, like, really high in vitamin C. I'll pour that in. I'll pour in pepper and, like, uh, sometimes uh, a little bit of balsamic vinegar and, like, just a regular shot of vinegar. And, like, it really makes the pasta taste slamming. Yeah, that's what's up. I used to love making pasta until... Well, I love pasta. We don't make a lot when we do. I we make the show the pasta, pasta portions are small because yeah. just how much well, it very, sticks on you. Yeah, that's really important with pasta. It's like portion. Yeah. But like, yeah, I haven't. E- I can't even remember the last time I had pasta. Like, have you ever had couscous? Like, that's yeah. a really light pasta. Oh, I we love, love it, man. It's very I good. I used to call it concuss. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go have some concuss tonight. Concuss. And they're like. Are you sure you don't mean couscous? And I'm like, no, it's definitely concuss. <laughs> and I went home and looked at the box, and I'm like, oh, it does say couscous. Oh. And went back into work, and I was like, yeah, I was sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah. we'll make, like, soups done, and so stuff with it. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I like, you like quinoa? I've never actually had it. Mm-hmm. I have this, like, things I got from Nature Box, actually. They're meals. Um preserved with like lactic acid and citric, citric acid so it's all it doesn't so have any unnatural like no unnatural preservatives or anything like that it's like a cup of quinoa and on top it has like a cup of 
um, and you can get it in like a bunch of different like flavor, but it's like artichoke and like roasted red peppers or like, um, all, I forget all the different flavors. Um, but yeah, if you go to there, if you go to my link, if you go to my link, you can get to there. Actually, I have a link on my page uh, to the, to the meals page and they're right, th they're right there, um, on my Facebook page that is. So check that out. Um, but it's like you can eat them room temperature. You can heat them up. It's in a microwavable safe cup. Apparently, I don't like trusting that. I don't like plastic and microwaves. Mm -mm. That's like a thing of. I don't like microwaves. Period. Yeah, I don't no, fucking same. use them. I haven't used one in like so long. I don't like. I, used I don't like them. They scare me. I don't know why. I don't even know the like full science behind a microwave. But if you put a pork like in there them. and that thing can blow the fuck up, that's I am I mean. not using that's it. That's what like, I mean. What? That's that's the kind of stuff that scares. And like even popcorn, popcorn scares me in the microwave because it's like, how is it doing that? It's in a paper bag, all right, and it's fucking <laughs> like spinning in circles, exploding. Okay, like, and like, it can burn. It could straight like if you leave it in there, you know what I'm saying? It can you can get these burnt things light on can, fire. But you can like make popcorn on the stove too and have the same. Yeah, it but it, well, yeah, but that makes hot. sense. That's a flame to me. Oh, it's you know what I mean? True. It's the source There's, of heat. I just put it in this box and push a button that's electrical, and it just like zzz, zzz, yeah. Zzz, but zzz. I have a popcorn maker <laughs> too. Radiation, like All right, that's just, so I have one of them too. It's you like a really, kernels. really, really, really old. Well, one. it is yeah. a form of radiation Completely that they old. use it for, isn't it? Because Microwaves. like they say, if you're too close to them all the time, like that's a form of like a lot of how do men get like testicular cancer is because well, of how close they. I don't think pregnant women are supposed to be in front of one when it's on. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. God. They're not safe. I mean, even cell phones, they say, aren't really. Oh, no, yeah. cell phones are, yeah. Really, really really bad. Bad. You get small doses of radiation whenever you're looking at your phone. Oh, yeah. And computer Especially if you have it on your ear. You want to know how many, like, people probably, like, you know, generations and generations from now are going to have, like, problems with, like, their leg, like, right here. <laughs> From it, be, from it, be, oh, your like phone being leg. against your leg all the time. See, my phone's not against my leg. I always switch ever. it. Well, depends well, on what side. For most are. people, like or anywhere, like well, maybe if girls. you're always on the phone. And you know, know what's always it? really good? I your always wear really up. baggy pants, so it's like I my stuff's always loose in my pockets. One time I wore tight pants and I had keys in my pocket. Oh, yeah, but either my way, it's like God. if it's actually giving off radiation, it could like oh, yeah. if it's in your hand, it's it's getting well, your hand. Girls if it's in your pocket, it's yeah. Oh my God. Breast cancer. Breast cancer. It could be the cause. That's insane. One of the causes. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, mm -hmm. and then even like self, I mean, computers. It's like people that sit there all day on a computer, like an office job even, or just like, you know, if it's somebody who like has a laptop in their lap. Laptop, I heard that's really bad. Oh, yeah. Laptop in your lap. Yeah. Hot tubs. If you're in for too yep. long, well, oh, that yeah. is They not say you should not be in a hot tub more than 15 minutes. And I'm thinking, like, dude, I used to sit in those things for like 45 minutes at a time. Yeah, and they it's all like, say that. Or some, even a sauna. Some of you like, say Or like a steam minutes. room. Like, yeah. steam rooms are really healthy for you, but like, there's a. You oh can develop something if you do them too often. Do you want to know what Onnit Academy has? Huh? They have steam rooms and they have cryogenic fucking. Oh, oh cold my things. God. The cases, cold yeah. They have a room full of them. Wow. I've seen pictures. It's amazing. What are those things called? They're fucking... Uh, Cry right. Cryo yeah, cry it's cryogenic. Or cry cry uh, yeah, I think it's cryogenic. Uh, I forget. Chamber? Chamber. Yeah, that's there. it. Yeah, that was the word I was trying to think yeah. of. Yeah. They're crazy. It's just like basically an ice box. Usually your head sticks and like, out and it just like it's cold as mm -hmm. shit. I don't even feed think, you more oxygen. I, I don't even think your head sticks out of them. I think like you full you go in this full like encasing. No, there's, there's some people that your head are like you're you're in it, but like your head's kind of sticking okay, out yeah. of it. And uh, then there, I've I've seen the ones you're talking about. They pump a little extra oxygen yeah, in I think them that's and what they, they make do. it like cold and it's just like. Yep. Well, I would hate that one. I'd have to have my head like. Out. I, I like. I heard like I people like talk about better. like cold shock proteins. Like I don't know what the hell that is. I take a cold shower every day. And like I don't know what the hell a cold, cold shock, shock protein, protein is. Let me look. Like it up. a lot I've of people have it Like if I I take showers just to like like activate my brown fat and like just like always stay in shape. Like I feel better after I take a cold I shower. Think I think it is more like energy. a legit thing though because I think like I don't know when you're when you're when the protein like. I mean, I just use cold hard. showers because, like, after you work out, like, all your blood's swelled up, and, like, it's just, like, if you, like, have a lump on your head, just put ice on it, and it swells down. Yeah, like, you take that concept. ice shower, and it's just, yep. like, oh. Yeah, I take ice showers, like, all the time. I have a quick They're question. They're really good. Same concept. We have to go back to the Kim 
kombucha or kombucha, whatever. Kombucha. Con- okay. okay. Why is that good for you? Like what? Like when it cleans it's out your intestines, kombucha. like what does that do to you? Uh, well, it's a probiotic to start off. Yeah, it, pr- yeah, it's kind of like prebiotic, probiotic. Um, essentially, it's like uh, you're gonna bact- poop. <laughs> the bacteria. It's like you know, how there's like good bacteria and bad bacteria in mm-hmm. your body. So like the bad bacteria would be like you know, if you take antibiotics or something, obviously that's a bad bacteria that you're trying to get rid of. Yep. Like yogurt though is like a good bacteria. You ever okay. like, or even like your saliva, good bacteria. Yeah. Have like, you ever been um, told to like eat yogurt when you were taking an antibiotic? Yes. Yeah, because that's because it's also killing your good bacteria, so you need to eat more. Oh. And that's what that's what kombucha is. I did not same, know that. Yeah. That's interesting. That's the same concept with kombucha. Only it's like a lot crazier than like yogurt. Yogurt is like made to be good okay and like kombucha i mean kombucha, kombucha is, is extremely me, healthy for your organs is it like a detox drink essentially it could be a, yeah yeah, it, yeah it's basically it's helping is. a lot of different like it's helping your metabolism as well as your digestive system it cleans like, your digestive system yeah. like it's gets all the key. like yeah. bad stuff out that usually doesn't come out when you're yeah, regular probably, bowel yeah something movements. like that it's, yeah because okay. what you're doing you're, that good bacteria is now going to try to fight all the bad bad bacteria that's what they're there for okay. so it's like basically you're putting stuff in your body that just like tries to like kill everything that's bad for your body okay i just want i just i forgot that i was going to ask that and then i remembered it there's many different kombuchas i mean you can get green tea you can get ginger age ginger i don't like ginger yeah that stuff is it's crazy yeah i got this i forget what it's actually called i see people like chug glasses of those and it's like whoa I mean, some Dedication. of it's not good, and but it's you just like go go go. Actually, every morning now I drink this shake. It's called uh, Greens. It's uh oh, yeah. supposed to be berry flavored. It's not berry flavored. It's, not, it's berry. not that bad though. I think it has a hint of berry. <laughs> and it, you actually get it at Walmart. A hundred percent organic. Is it? A USDA, hundred percent organic. All it's in it is like a bunch of kale, spinach. <laughs> I make a I make artichoke. This one it's like just everything, and it's just dry powder. And it's purple, and you mix okay. it. Like there's a hint of berry, like hint it's berry air, and the okay. rest is like just like kind of makes me feel like I chewed up a vitamin, like one of those like daily vitamins. You just chew it up. Ah, oh, that's yeah, that's kind of gross. <laughs> it's like I don't makes know. you make My those kind of like weird faces, gummies. like. They say, like, oh, you're like, it's so easy to mix and stuff. It's really not. It's but really you know what? Like, I don't mind just, like, mixing a little, leaving it sit, and then coming back and then mixing again, and it makes it better. Yeah, I get one of these. Yeah, that's have, what I was thinking I about, too. They have them at Walmart. They're cheap. Yeah. They're, like, I, I, have like a light I started bottle. using them for my protein powders and stuff, and it's, like, I use so it for my much pre-workout. And my al- uh, my, See, my protein powder. powders, I just can't do. It's just, like, being the uh, fucking uh, lactose intolerant, it's just, like... Okay, yeah. Most just rip up my stomach. Yeah, it's most just of like, them are wow. very, yeah. But with protein powders, can't you? You gotta watch which protein powders you buy, too. Never go low, never low ball on protein. Oh, like, always no. spend the money That's on a higher thing. grade. On it has, like, a crazy amount of, like, different proteins, protein powders, like, the post-workout recovery proteins. They have, uh, I, the one I've been using is the pre-workout. It's actually a pre-workout, but it has, like, recovery protein in it, and I love it. Um, but they have what a kind bunch of, of protein do they use? Like casein? Do they use uh, whey? I think it's whey. All right. From what I'm, uh, yeah, from what I believe, from what I remember. Um, but it's like all their shit is like super organic. So it's if it's whey, it's grass fed, you know, whey yeah, protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like there's nothing bad in them either. That's the only reason I really buy them from them. No, nope. because I know. If you're lactose intolerant with like protein and stuff, can't you just use like almond milk or something and not? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Almond milk does yeah. not have clearly even close to as much protein as milk, but it has a surplus of calcium. Also, like if people don't know this, orange juice also has just as much calcium in it as milk. You know, I heard something the other day that orange juice is like really bad to drink in the morning. Really? Yeah. Having something that high acidity in your stomach, and okay, that's being the first and it, thing, you, and it like, oh my god, I never even thought about it, and it makes sense. And like, I looked a little bit into it, but like, it just amazes me though, because if you go to like any breakfast place, like a restaurant, what is, what's like the fir- mo- like the most common thing people orange get in the morning? Apple juice and orange juice, <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, they do it like commercials. They always have a glass of milk yep. and orange juice right there. 
Which, who does both at the same time besides me? I know, that's... Uh, that's oh, I, I love get me milk. Wrong. I, I will drink never, milk with anything. Oh, I love milk, but I just could never do... It's kind of like... It's the same concept. With milk and orange juice is the same as milk and applesauce. You ever have like it? Applesauce. You can only do it in one order. If you go the other order, it's terrible. No, really? I forget which way it is, so sorry. I feel but. like I could do orange juice and then milk, not milk, then orange juice. That's what I mean. You can only go one way with it. it otherwise, it's terrible. And if you mess it up, then it's already messed up. I know it's terrible. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm a milk girl. <laughs> yeah, I just got this milk. It's enriched with omega-3 fatty acids. All right, nice. Is, so like, it's really good for your And heart. I drink whole milk that's, you know, organic, so it's like. Yeah, it's the best milk I've ever drank. It's can funny. You, well, sorry, can you find like non-fat organic milk? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, Absolutely. Because I I drink non-fat. I hate like anything. A lot of these places yeah. just like do this. They just make the milk so cold that all the fat freezes, and they just uh, basically strain it. Okay. It's like so easy. Yeah. yeah. My foster parents oh, sh- used to do it. Like you can they even... buy regular two percent, and like, like I don't know why they do it, but they'd leave it outside, and all the fat would freeze to the top of it right. and yeah it's crazy and they strain it out well, what's the point well, I don't know it's just I, buy, buy I fat free I, I never yeah, really it's not it's like, fat I never free is actually cheaper I was gonna the say. higher the percentage of fat you oh, have yeah, the yeah, no, more no. expensive it it's is it's the same thing with steak you get mm. steak you go yeah. like we get <laughs> we get London broil I mean it's the leanest part of like a lot of the steaks you can get without going like really high end but it's yeah, like yeah without going you go to there. these other steaks like we get it at like six ninety nine a pound or something five ninety nine five ninety nine a pound but you see other ones where it's like half fat, half steak, and it's like ten dollars a pound, and it's like, what the hell is even going on? Ten dollars right a pound is what like, I pay oh, for well, like, bison. Yeah, yeah. Where and they're like, oh, that? well, there's more flavor. It. Oh my god, bison. you just you just mm-hmm. like kickstarted my anger rage from You're the other day oh, because wow. guess what? Freaking happened? I went to Giant to go shopping, and they didn't fucking have bison yeah, anymore. Yes, they're sometimes they, they're out. They just. They fill it in with some bullshit fucking pork sausage or something. I was yeah, it comes in and out. It's usually there, though. They have it at Weiss, too, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, in, like, just packaged? They or? literally only have it one way. It's just, like, a square this big of ground bison. Okay. I, I recently saw this um, site. I forget what it's called, of course. Because <laughs> I, I, I look at so many things, and I never, like, really, like, oh, I got to remember that name. Yeah, exactly. I should. Um, but it's, like... It's a com- it's a basically like a delivery food delivery service, but it's all for meats, and it's like they have like elk, bear, they have duck, they have ev- like rabbit, like everything you could possibly think of, and it's just they send it to you like in a freezer, like a little freezer box truck. It's like That's frozen. pretty badass. It is pretty sweet. I had a friend that worked with. He like kind of basically just went door to door with a giant like box yeah. freezer in the back of his pickup truck, and he'd like sell steak and stuff. Yeah. Giant does that. Giant has um, Peapod, it, Peapod, right? yep. Peapod, they do. And I think they only do it out of certain locations, though. Ah, but, okay. But, yeah. I like going to Weiss because you could be like, what's in the display case isn't even close to what they have in the back for, like, fish and stuff. Like, you could be oh, like, yeah. uh, they'd be like, oh, like, what do you want? It's like, well, you could actually, there's a list of what uh, everything they have, and everyone yep. always thinks if they don't have it in a case, they don't, but it's actually in the giant, back yeah, in a giant the same freezer way. bag. Yep. Remember the one time I got a yeah, slab got of tuna? Oh got a slab of tuna, $24. It was a tuna thing. It was like yeah. this, dude. Jesus. Was I had to literally thaw it out and cut it in half just to put it in the freezer. I couldn't fit it in there. What and the it wouldn't fuck? break in half. I was like smacking was it, it over thin? thing. No, and it was like... So it was like tu- it was like a strip of like tuna steak, basically. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I got a huge tuna slab. It was yeah. a whole fillet. Like oh, I got so, one. Oh, yeah, okay. There. I so paid twenty four dollars. It was like this wide, like that long. Oh, Man, it was probably little. It was probably like that wide. Yeah, it was a big fish fillet. There was. He was like, oh, I can't really like do that. I can sell you a whole one. I was like, all right, that's what I wanted. Because usually, if I could get salmon, I get usually like a little piece. I just get a whole fillet of salmon and oh, like too, I'll yeah. portion it out. Like I'll make like lunches for a whole week. Yep. Yeah, so I, usually, I, I get at least like over. It's usually over a pound. It's never under a pound because I always get. I just tell them like, uh, "Give me that piece." I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I do like going the giant though, only because the discounts you get. You get like thirty dollars a yeah. fish. You get up the counter, it's like twenty dollars. It's like mm-hmm. yeah. They got some good. I discount. wish they were closer though. Yeah, yeah I wish yeah. they had a closer one. You know, I think there's one in um, Harleysville. 
And I haven't checked if it's closer than the one in Quakertown. Nah, it wouldn't. Harley feels like a twenty minute drive. But so is Quakertown. Uh, yeah. And, and I feel like well, that might be not more for traveling. us. <laughs> go wow. Trumbowersville. Yeah, go right it's down still like Montgomery Road. Minutes, yeah, it'll cut you right through at off. It'll go like Wawa. here's uh, Quaker Town. Six sixty three takes you this way and then this way. Like if you just go through Trumbowersville. Wait, the one by Lowe's? Shot. Yeah. Yeah. They have organic aisle. Oh yeah, yeah. But every every does. single one, that, yeah. I didn't think yep. they did. I, like, oh, I yeah. think it's in the. I think it's like literally on the different end, though. Like it's yeah, on yeah. the other end. Like how okay, the maybe ones. That's, here, I forget if somebody told like me that, that or if I went. I, I don't even remember, but I didn't think they had one. So uh, maybe yeah. I'll do that. I yeah. think every single even one. Even we even went to Pottstown and right? they had one. Pottstown oh, okay. doesn't have. Pottstown's like. It's whenever you're in the city and you go to a grocery store, it's not like when you're in a, like a <laughs> suburban area and you go it's in a grocery at store. A, at there. It's not even that. They just have a lot of cheap shit. Like, you go to the ramen aisle, like, no lie, I used to live in the urban areas. I love ramen, but like, boy, it's a ramen aisle. Like, boy, they got a lot there. We went to Pottstown. We got all stock. different types of like soup bowls that you just add water and it was like, Damn. they don't have this, that, or the other ones. What the fuck? All about the massive uh, and Redner's in Boston. It's a lot different. It's a lot cheaper. Way, way cheaper. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because just like the cost of living in the area. But would you buy fish or fresh meat or something from? We there? bought steak from the giant up there, and we thought it was gonna be like the one in Quaker Town. A lot more fat on it. Cheaper yeah. too. Real cheap. That's how we a go. lot of fat. Now we were just we like, all right, we're never doing that again. Steak. Oh yeah. Yeah, Dave's Davis. meets a Quaker town. Okay. Very good. Devin, I, what else, do you know what else he has? Like, uh, all uh, of has. Like, he has, like, a lot of a lot of red meat. It's not, like, mm-hmm. fish, I don't think. I think they... No, but I'm more looking for, like, you know, like, somebody who's got, like, deer regularly or something. Know. like I would Gator? Water, water Venison. Mings, maybe? Venison. Venison. Uh, Wa- do you think Waterman's has it? Do you know where Waterman's is? I was thinking is? maybe Cabela's. Yeah. I think they might... I'm, I'm just sure. looking for like more like I don't know things I haven't had before. Yeah, I want to get gator like again. You more should try that. I want to try venison before I try gator. You I didn't like elk. I, I hated elk. That? Oh my god, you I haven't tried, tried elk. You that uh chili the one time. Oh yeah, true. But no, Colin I had a, made it for us. I had an elk burger at the burger company in Emmaus. You can get like elk burgers, bison burgers. I, mean, I, I, I oh, had a bison so, burger. The bison burger so amazing. I had a bite to, of that. Dude, I'm gonna have to ask my coworker about. Do you know okay. where um all about the Emmaus smoke shop is? Yeah. Literally right down the street from that. Actually, it's bef- like it's on your right before you'd even get to the Emmaus smoke shop. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go. It's not even that far away. Oh, I know exactly what place you're talking about. I've been wanting the to go company. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally <laughs> been wanting to go there. Every time I drove by, is like, oh uh, yeah. Every time like f- fire training is like, if you go up that road and you make a left right after like where the smoke mm-hmm. shop like yeah. strip is, um, it's I don't know down that road like a while and then it's like it's not just one more left and it's like right, right down there. there is where the fire where we train. I, and it's like yeah every time we drove by I was like what? I, I should go there I want to go there again far. it's not even really far it's mm-hmm. about, and it's so simple to get there it's like just straight and then straight yep and you're there we one, gotta take you to Bay's Rock Shop I think you'd fucking think that is amazing what is it? it's a uh, crystals, fossils oh yeah? stuff yeah, like yeah. that yeah oh my gosh I love it. they have like crystal balls I bought one it's like fucking badass they have like <laughs> a huge one it's like $300 or something but it's I'll like to check it out. beautiful they're away right now they're getting yeah, work yeah so they're not open like it's like a it's a group of families that travel the planet and they're a bunch of uh, what is it geologists <laughs> sorry just <laughs> and they like they'll go to like Brazil and then they'll like stay there for a while and like travel all over like South America yeah. and like come back with all these stones and stuff and they sell them for a while and then oh, they, wow, so they go, go out trip. themselves <laughs> uh, that's even cooler <laughs> we got up to the counter and like they have hundreds of different stones in this store and we bring up like five random ones the old dude like puts on his glasses he's like do you want me to write down what kind they are and he just like this one's a oh my God. Oh, right off the top of his head yeah just like and he's like you can Jesus. tell because of this 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 and this and we're like wow i have to go when yeah, yeah it was pretty impressive that's what's up they do you know if they have like a facebook page or something yes i, can check it out. I actually liked it Okay, cool. She I'm bought some cool it. stuff and then like a B-E-Y-S. necklace and stuff. 
well, I bought actually this chain I'm using because my other chain broke. Um, ha I have like so many crystals I can just put on this chain. Word. It's awesome. I love it. That's what's up. I'm gonna check it out. Cause oh, if, yeah. even then, if you like look up the meaning of something of one of like the crystals, it like yep. I think it's aquamarine. I think or I don't remember what I bought, but I bought this like stone, and it's supposed to be good for like when you're fishing or something. It's supposed to bring good luck to the fishermen. Oh, okay. I never actually tried it out, and I should probably try it when so we go so fishing tomorrow. I say you better give that to me. Some, yeah, some of those things, some of those things are really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's like, like this, I don't know the spiritual the, spirituality yeah. behind it. I guess is. I what, think it's cool. I think so it's a little more of a. Would you say superstition? Yeah, but I still yeah. I still like the idea of it. That's what I mean. Like yeah, that's what I mean. So certain things like stuff like that, like I don't. Immediately so you're not like putting your hands yeah. into something like you don't even know exists. I'm more like, like you're putting your willing mind to try. into something. It's kind of like my view on like religion. I don't. Yeah, that's so exactly what I mean. Like you're yeah. you're not putting your power into something you're not sure you're real. You know that yep. things on your thing, so you're empowering yourself to like hype yourself up to believe it's yeah. really working. And I mean, plus like there's people that really believe it. So it's like their passion for it is kind of like the, you know, the driving cause behind it. Basically, why is a religion. Yeah, that's it's kind of like I don't know. That's what makes it like interesting to me. I guess. I hate that I'm categorized as like an atheist, and that's technically a religion because I really I don't I have that. a religion. I do believe in something, but I don't believe in like. What yeah. anyone else is described to me yeah. and i would explain it the same exact way how i feel, but it doesn't even make sense. It's like you, you know, what I'm saying like you, you believe in something, but. It has to have like a like a well, mark on it. It has to it be like yeah. The reason it doesn't make sense is because we've created like these are the religions, and if you're not that, then you're this. Yeah, exact. That's what I mean. So so you don't even know what the hell. To, like there's no name for it. So like what what are you? You know what I'm saying? Whereas they put all these beliefs into like this category, and then they named it something. Yeah, and then they you call us like the sinners beliefs. and stuff because we don't believe in God. Yeah, it's a like, bunch of rubbish yeah because i know some shitty Sorry, people that go to church and follow god that's what I, well, yeah and like i don't know and then of course they'd have an argument for that but it's like i just don't i'm not gonna believe something that i can't prove yeah i'm, I'm gonna live way. by that because i've always lived like that like <laughs> stupid when i was a little kid like no lie i did not believe in santa or the easter pony there was many times like my foster parents really? would tell me like <laughs> I remember the one like, time no, I told all true. the babysitting kids, like, I was, like, six or seven, like, there is no Santa, he doesn't exist, like, I had to, like, go up to my foster parents and tell them what I said, because they told on me, and I was like, I don't believe in that, like, well, I guess you don't want Christmas presents this year, and, like, you don't want the Easter Bunny to drop you off a basket, like, punish me, and I was like, alright, I'm not allowed oh to God. tell people that kind of stuff. <laughs> I never believed, like, I don't I felt like, like I've always had a pretty strong mind. I've always been really down to earth. I could see through bullshit real fast. So it's like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I don't like, I've never liked uh, why, like, how we tell, like, kids that there's this, like, guy who, like, comes on Christmas. It's just kind of creepy. It's all based He's on one religion. you and you're mm -hmm. sleeping. That's the problem. Yeah, 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 basically. And it's just like a thing that happens in the United States. And it's like, what, well, why are you just like put me into this religion? But it's funny that people don't realize because you can really do the history on these. These holidays have been around before a lot of these religions have. They've just kept them going. They like introduced them into the new yeah. religion. So now they're part of the economy. Yeah, now it's got to be something to bring people together. Yeah, pretty much. Or else and you just got a bunch of people that are really hatred and against each like other. Also, something that just makes a lot of money for a lot of people. Yep. Like the Easter holiday's been around for way before Christianity. That's always been just like a holiday of just like fertility or what is it? Fertility and basically just like presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always been like time of year to like do that, and then I don't like know. I don't follow holidays i've looked into like religions and old things about it it's pretty crazy there's like well, this is the this is the other thing that like this is why i call it bullshit on half of these religions or well, all of these religions because and i'm not saying because all right no, no let me explain because i believe in certain parts of certain religions so why do i believe parts of so many different religions yep you know what I'm saying? Because so, they're all just beliefs, and they just tried to categorize them. But then, but it's not like, I just don't believe in the ones that, like, I'm, I'm a fan of, like, Taoism and, like, 
you know, parts of like Buddhism and so it's just I don't know recreations and stuff like There's that. There's just so much more like actually like real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Tao Taoism is like one of my favorites. I feel like just because like like you know like fucking the yin yang symbol, um, just that concept alone. It makes perfect sense, and it's totally, like, legit. It's totally true. There's, like, you know, in the whole, I don't know if you don't know, yin-yang symbol. It's got, like, white, big white spot with a black dot on it, and a big black spot with a white dot on it. And it's, yeah, okay, there you go. He's got a tattoo of it. No. <laughs> I forgot it's like, about that. Yeah, so that's what I mean. And it's, like, it's just the concept, you know, you can do it, you can think of it so many different ways. But I always like, thought about it as, uh, You don't get any light without dark. Exactly. And you don't you, get any dark without light. And there's, there's no good, good and bad and, and there's, there's bad no and good. good without bad, no yeah. bad without good. Yeah, exactly. That's if you're going to dip into one thing, you're also going to dip into the other. There's it, no there's one so or the other. There's so many things. That's what I mean. And it's, it's just that's what, and it makes, it all makes sense. That's something that, like, I can believe. But then it's like, I also believe, like, you know, some, you know, some other stuff from others. So it's like, obviously, I don't need to pick a religion because I know that I believe and you know what I'm saying why do I believe in so many different things if this person like only believes in this religion's beliefs if I can believe in so many different you know what I'm saying because they all make yeah. sense so you know what I'm saying like if somebody that's Christian do they like deny that that's like true oh yeah probably well they might the concept if they might not if they're like. full like full you know full-blown catholic or full-blown christian i don't know because you'd look at them and you'd say is there any evil in god but like if god is everything and we're in a depiction of god wouldn't that technically mean there is evil in god if he was able to make it i feel like everything that they would believe agrees with that you know that 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 agrees with it i'd say it doesn't because they say god is not evil he's all pure and stuff so like yeah, I guess I, I don't Satan know. Satan is the it. bad one, but in my mind, God made Satan. Like, and there's no. Uh, yeah, I guess. God would be yes. like an all knowing being. If so he I guess made they these wouldn't. angels, he knew they were going to go bad. It's just. It's just. It's just, so, just for me, it's just not. That's my problem believable. with it, though. It's like, how are you going to believe this thing on in this book that could have potentially been written by fucking anybody? Oh, it was. It was just a collection of, like, but stories that's, that's put what, together. Well, but, you know, but this is what I mean. Like, you. I could have wrote it if it was as legit as the Bible. You would believe that it was written by all these monks or whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just, I, I don't understand how you can believe in like something like that that you can never really prove or that's from so long ago. Like, I don't know, I'll have something else for that because that's a bigger issue. Base and then deny something that's so like real as the as simple like life qualities basically and that you can see that's what i mean so and then we're back to like the other you know things you can't see and all that um what the fuck was i is uh i forget what the fuck never mind i can't right, remember religion and stuff or... no 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 I, I remember what i was talking about i just don't remember the thing so it's uh, not, <laughs> i'm not gonna bother talking about it. i wish i could yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, i hate it that's a good conversation though um but yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I, the biggest thing I think I, I have a problem with. You got all these religions. They're all promoting peace. Why are they all fighting all the time? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? You guys were promoting well, peace. Promote it. Like, show us. Like, show realized, how much you're trying to bring people together. Because like, because the world turned into. You can't just worry about religion. You have to worry about society now. So it's like you can't even, you can't follow every part of the religion all the time because you gotta like keep up with like, yeah, I, and because there's you know what I'm saying there's like people that don't believe in that or, and yeah you get it you have a good point but it's like I guess where it comes down to if somebody walked up to you and you were, you know, a Buddhist and I was like a Christian and I. And you said something that you believed. And I said, no, that's not true. Well, we just, now we're arguing. And, you know what I'm saying? So you get you just get lost in it. It's And that's basically how it became, I feel like. Because it just came down to, now you gotta deal with other people and other religions. It's like the different tribes and like Muslims and stuff like that. Did you guys get confirmed? Yes. Like, did, 
Okay. Did you go to church and get like confirmed, like confirmation? Jack class. Oh, I don't even know, man. You would have. Well, it would have been like when you were a teenager. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Well, Definitely did they not. teach you like they like kind of teach you other religions? No. <laughs> See, what kind of church? What? what kind of church did you go to? I went to a. Uh, uh, I went to Saint Lutheran, so it's a Lutheran okay. technically. And, oh my god, let me tell you. Wait, hold on. All right. <laughs> uh, there's a concept behind this. That's why I'm asking you. Because I went through confirmation, and I'm a Protestant. I go to, like, United Church of Christ. Well, they made it, they took us to, like, a synagogue, a morgue, not morgue, like, um, <laughs> mosque. Like, they took us yeah. to those uh, okay, places okay, okay, so okay, we could yeah. learn about other reg- religions, so we could, like, huh. kind of see what their side of everything was. That's pretty cool. Just in case if maybe mm, you Like, I have didn't. a, I think I have a Quran. At home, I think. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I had an American version of Quran for a while. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. I, that's pretty interesting. That's why I was asking, because like I said, like different religions, like I said, you're, you're Lutheran, I'm a Protestant. We do something, there's something different since we learned about other religions. Yeah. But here's the way, my whole thing, though, just because I'm not disrespecting anybody, is like, I'm... I agree, you know, okay, I agree is, I, I'm okay with everybody else's beliefs, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 it's oh, yeah. Just don't like, try and pressure on me. And, yeah, I'm not trying to pressure you to, like, stop believing that. Yeah. But I'm oh, just yeah. explaining why I don't, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And if you can't, if the, if you feel like I'm press, you know what I'm saying, I'm, like, arguing the point by me telling you how I feel, then you must have some sensitivity against oh, yeah, what yeah, you yeah. believe, so. I've yeah. heard people tell me <laughs> I'm, like, an idiot, I, I. Like, I'm going to hell, and, like, I'm crazy that I don't believe it. It's like, there's nothing crazy about it. It's just, like, my mind just can't wrap around it. Yeah. You can't, or, like, that's just... People are like, you need religion. No, I do not need religion. Yeah, no, I'm good. If you're good, I'm good, and Mm -hmm. we're good. I don't know what... Yeah, I cannot stand when people, like, argue about it or, like, something like that. Because it's like, well, what the fuck? Okay, you believe that. There's, like, a million other people in the world that believe a million different things so you're gonna start up a fight with everybody just people who think bigfoot is real so like. i mean the flat earth motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like. <laughs> don't tell me. i might fucking argue with them all right okay, don't yeah. get me wrong but but that's not a religion <laughs> that's what i mean yeah just i don't know general beliefs even yeah it's craziness man people speaking of crazy it's up with that dude that like Went nuts on us. Oh my god. Yeah. Cosmo DiNardo. He killed oh, like four young kids. Four or five young kids. It was four. Yeah. Like, but then admitted to like two more more after he confessed to. And at first he tried blaming everything on his like younger cousin. I was going to say, wasn't there two no, no, suspects he never, or something? He never blamed anything on his cousin. Oh, his I side. That's no, no. He, they both had the same story. Oh. Except they're both they were both conflicting on who shot one of the kids. Or guys. They're not really kids because they're all like 19 to 22, I think. Yeah, all right. They were young adults. Yes. And older teenagers. That's but yeah, that's right in the area, though. That's like, yeah, and he did it because, like, I, he made the story just doesn't sound right. It sounded like he really wanted to just fucking kill these kids. Like, I don't know. Like, that's what it sounded like to me. It's like, oh, they didn't have enough money, so I killed them. You know what? I heard something about, and I don't want to, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll fucking say it. I don't really care. I heard. Because I don't want to, like, say something that's not true. But I heard something about, like, the dude who did it, this Cosmo dude. I heard something about his, like, brother or cousin or, like, some somebody he knew was, like, I don't know if it was, like, in jail or something. And, like, I don't know if these, you know, I don't even know the whole story. And I don't know if these, like, four kids were, like, had wow. something against him. I heard about Or this. something like that. And that's why he did it. Because they could have, like, I don't even know, like, kept his brother or, in, or whoever it was in jail or something like mm-hmm. that. I heard it was, like, some sort of motivation like that because of, like, a family member. But, like, who the fuck knows, really? Yeah, no, I've, I've heard that, but I've never heard any source behind it. You exactly, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the same, yeah. That's eerie. I just thought the whole story was eerie right when it came out. It was like, yeah. all right. Straight up. Yeah, kid's like, a weed dealer, and, well, at first it was like, all right, these kids are missing. This kid was arrested. He was like, oh, they found bodies on his property, and he got arrested again. And it was like... Oh, my God. His parents have, like, 90 acres, no. so, like, they took a backhoe and dug a 12-foot hole and put them in a pig... Two of the bodies in a pig roaster and just shoved it in the bottom yeah. of the hole. It was like, what the fuck? Like, well, it's so... burn the bodies. 
Well, yeah, yeah. A li- well, yeah, not like completely, completely. And ran one over with the backhoe. Yep. Oh, my God. So After he was going he was in. Already dead, but so dude he, thought he was a G. That's not how Gs do course. things. He was going He's trying in, to be a man. gangster or something. I don't know well, what the hell was wrong with that He kid. got arrested for an unrelated charge before yeah, yeah, and then was out that. on bail and then he tried selling one of the kids cars like the day after yeah. and that's when they so, like his like, friend um, or something that'll do it they were like um dude you're you're selling a guy's car that's missing like do you like who, and it wasn't even much money <laughs> like five hundred dollars for this car it wasn't a bad car either it's what like, an it's decent well he was selling it was like a pound of weed or something or and or something a quarter you know, pound like of seven... weed and he wanted like i think like 14 or 13 or 1200 for it or something the dude only had like seven or eight so he's like yo come with me to the farm and i'll let you buy my shotgun what? well that's the shotgun he shot him with yeah then it was like two days later it was the other two actually they were like three different times they got shot this guy it wasn't just at one time that they all got shot stu- oh my god you know i have another drug thing to tell you guys about i had fire or you know yeah fire training today but we went over i think i told you this earlier we went over bloodborne pathogens my instructor told us about this thing okay it's but it's heroin but it's like this new heroin car fentanyl yes yep. and it's the, just recently i don't know where it was but it was very close to here uh three emts and Fire, fire squad mm-hmm. responded OD'd. to an o- overdose and the three MDs and a firefighter that they asked to come in with them to assist were all like needed care mm-hmm. after they, did they, they like because they, they absorbed it from their skin they or something breathed, like yeah that. you can't t- if it gets on your skin like if someone's you, if sweating you or something it, like yeah. you're fucked if you touch it if you breathe it in like not you know you don't have to snort it like it could just be sitting there and in the air that's what like that's how bad it is. That's mm-hmm. I I don't know like how strong it is. I guess you would. Yeah, I think they it, say but. uh, what is it? All right, heroin is like a hundred times stronger than morphine, and like fentanyl is a hundred times stronger than like that. And I think they. Car fentanyl is like a thousand times stronger than fentanyl. Heroin, I think. Or than heroin, yeah. I think heroin. So I think it's like a hundred times stronger than fentanyl. Yeah, and fentanyl like you can only take in micrograms. So, so like it's, moral of the story, it then leads me to the other problem that's arised because of this, where, you know, if EMT responds to an overdose, they shoot him with that. Uh, Arsenal. Yes, yes, there you go. So that is now over-the-counter available if it's for an overdose, but you need a prescription if it's for your allergies or... Like, well, that's what I'm saying. They'll give you free shots of, like, so uh, You're that, talking but... about an EpiPen and stuff are, like, ridiculously priced now. Like, you could literally die. Yeah, but no, the same thing that, like, they use for overdoses is, like, you, I don't know if it's... Oh, it's used for something else, too. Is yeah. it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's the same. and But you need a prescription if it's for any of those normal medical things that happen to people. I thought Narsen was only to but, bring people back that OD. And maybe it's not that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not entirely... I know what you're talking about, like, EpiPens. Literally, yeah. they're so yeah. expensive right now. Yep, and you need a prescription. Yep, mm-hmm. and they're, like, hundreds of dollars. I think it's like, the same thing. It honestly. went from being, like... 15 years ago being like $30 to now being like 300 and like yeah. they're like asking the I remember they went to trial and they were like alright well why why are you doing this they were like your salary at this time was like you were making $400,000 and now you're making like $700,000 and now you're like charging all this extra money and like they had this big thing on TV all about it well you have to take for to what is it and this is people's lives. Yeah. Like you shouldn't make it expensive it? for people to like be able to survive. Like that's like yeah, that's what I that's what I mean. And they're now they're just kind of like promoting like this heroin mm-hmm. use. Oh my god! And they also have like basically clinics now where yeah. like you can go to like safely like like only I don't some even, states now, but yeah, safely yeah. Uh, inject safely or inge- use the like, drugs. That's basically and people can monitor you so you don't OD. So you don't OD. That's absolutely mm-hmm. unacceptable. That's ridiculous. That's what I said. Like, early, like, basically the beginning of this, like, America's made it too easy yeah, on a yeah. lot of people. There you go. Right back to that. Mm-hmm. It's, just, uh, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, you need a couple doses of Nar- Narcan or whatever. Yeah, so, two or three to bring you back from Carfentanil. Yeah, like, it, that's not just one, like, three. I have to ask him more about that because 
Yeah, I mean, he knew a lot about it. Apparently, there's this other dude that works there, and um, he's an EMT, but he's also, like, on the medical team and all that. Um, but apparently, like he said, he responds to, like, probably an, at least an overdose a week. My uncle's an EMT. I'm sure and he's like in this area. the same way. So it's like, what the hell, man? I just remember, like, there was, like, oh, my God, like a month straight. It was all over the news. It was in all the papers. Like, people were just dropping left and right. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally all over the place. It was town, our town. It was towns next to us. People were just dropping, and it was, like, right when it started, it sped up real fast. Like, it was just, like, everyone started dropping. It's like, oh, ten people over there died. Like, eight people <laughs> over there, six in that town. It's like, shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck. Especially if you hear someone, like, especially, like, people that do use heroin, when they hear someone die, they want to go find out where they got that bag. So it just, like, spreads yeah. so hard. It's yep. like, what are you guys doing? <clears throat> yeah, it's ridiculous. I'd hate to feel so trapped. That's why I've always, like, never touched. I mean, I've abused drugs in my past and stuff, but I've always made sure not to touch anything too hardcore. Cause I've... Yeah, once you slip past it, it's it basically hard to come control, back. It can control you. Yeah. Oh, Become absolutely. who you are. That's what it has Define done. who you are. Yep. Yeah. It's terrible. I hate that. It pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Especially like, I don't know, you know, like we've had friends that have died from dr- from the same things, and like, and then you still got friends that like do it. Yeah. And it's like, it's what the fuck? Like, fr- and the friends that were friends with them, those friends. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, it's like that. That's what p- really pisses me off. It's like. I don't know, especially that, like, just because, you know, I know you, and, like, you're still going to do it after that? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you got to be kidding me. No. That should have been enough to bring you back. That should have been enough to be, like, yo, bring like... You, apparently... I remember at one point, like, half of our friends were doing this shit, mm-hmm. and, like, it was... There was only a handful I of stopped. us that never touched I, it. Like, I mean, I, I hope you never did. I, I never mm-hmm. touched that. That's what I mean. I, I, at that point, that was, like, when I, like, stopped, like involving myself entirely and it was for other reasons also but it's like i just i didn't talk to anybody for so long because i was just yeah I don't know. probably but <laughs> oh yeah that worked kind of i need to well the thing is they had yeah. springs on them these were like really cheap I, it was like the cheapest no, thing that's good I now i just had to tighten that a little more but yeah they had springs on them from like these little like silver things but like they were loud you could hear them I through the mic because they don't these don't really have like very good shock absorbing like you know mounts and everything like that so but like I'm, I've been looking into getting better ones because they really do piss me off with that and like they fall down and my cat likes to rub <laughs> her freaking face on it and it gets hair everywhere and then I always gotta like pick her hair up she just had two giant hairballs today apparently I got home to a note from my mom on the table with um hairball medicine like a, a thing at hairball and it said mm-hmm. um she threw up two giant hairballs use this for a week is it called cat like, wax i think it might be something like that yeah that we used it cat? for sometimes like a hairball might be too big to come up yeah. from the front that sometimes you have to give it something so it'll go out the back yeah yeah and it's basically just to like help like not let that stuff clump up hurt and, like, up and yeah and hurt them yeah, yeah. Actually, I should probably give some the shadow. Because there was a while there, he was trying to hack recently. him up, and he was just like, he'd be at it for like 15 minutes straight, Nothing. trying to throw up and just like throwing up like fluid. And we yeah. felt bad for him. We took him yeah. to the, well, we didn't take him to the vet. We talked to the vet, and they yeah. gave us some stuff. Yep. Literally, they gave it to me three days, he was perfectly yeah, it's not, fine. It's not much, yeah. Huh? You can get it at like Walmart, anywhere, nice. really. Yeah, I still have the whole tube. <laughs> Use it once. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty nice. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah use this, like, twice a day. And, like, it wasn't hard to give him to him because no. he's kind of, like, no. a weirdo. And you only, like, it's it's like a paste, right? You yeah, it's like a pink. Put a little dab on your finger and you just say, here, That's look what we this. did. And if they don't <laughs> take it, you're just supposed to put it on their paw, the yep. back of their paw, yep. because they're That's licking exactly it off. That's exactly what I do. like, hey, what the fuck? The first yeah. thing, they, they shake and then, and then they lick, yeah. <laughs> it's like, they lick it right off. And then they give you a weird face. <laughs> you know what's weird, though? I've never seen my one cat have, like, hairballs, like, smoky. I've yeah, never seen him have a hairball. Don't, don't he doesn't clean himself like the oh, other really? one does. I think because I clean him. He's really big cleaning. about like the bottom of his legs. Oh yeah. Yeah, like really. He'll like sit there. He'll sit yeah, there and not I, be doing anything, sense. and he'll just be like, 
that. that it's like, whoa, what yeah. the fuck is that? Whoa, we're gonna lick the shit out of that. Yeah, my cat like tweaks out sometimes. It's so weird. Yeah, but that's our cat twenty four seven. There's no yeah. like normal. He'll nice. like creep in the room. He'll hear a paper, a plastic bag, and he'll be like ready to <laughs> run out of the room. He's so cute though. But at night, he will not leave us alone. We leave yeah. the door open. His he will harass us to pet he'll, like, him. Not slam stop. his head into your face. Like he'll just that's like, what my cat. Wham! Like, and it's like dude, during the day, he doesn't want anything to do with you. Yeah, my yeah. cat's like a little bit of every like kind of mood. It's like kind of weird. She's like crazy like that at times, but then she's like so like needy and like cuddly and want to be all around you and then other times she's just like walking around like she owns the place and you can't get anywhere near or she just like like, gets in your face you know what i'm saying she just like gets all like what are you doing like move and it's like what my cat's weird i know my cat when he wants my attention i'll put my hand like a foot over his head and he'll stand up on his back paws and grab my hand and put it on his head (laughs) I hold my cat That's so funny. much that it's like funny. I can he'll pick like him grab up. it, and be like, just like put his head yeah. under. It's like, oh, it's fucking I'll adorable. I'll like grab him to like pick him up, and like I'll be holding him, and he knows that if he wants to get down, he has to give me a kiss on my nose. So he'll just give me like a lick on my nose. He won't do it for every me. single time. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, my cat. I feel like my cat just like really loves me. She just like knows. She never like oh, yeah. really like very shy at some points. It's like it'll come uh-huh. like it, it's let me pet it a few times, but it doesn't let it. It doesn't let it on for too long. Yeah. Oh, I was just petting her. And she like... used to be crazy, like, skittish of other people. She used to, di- I mean, it was even worse. Right, I mean, when I first too. came here, she didn't want nothing to do yeah. with any of us. Yep. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Now she'll, like, walk her, she'll jump, she's like, just before, she just jumped up on the table, started walking across. Sorry, Kitty isn't in the house, or isn't in the building, in the room at the moment. No, so it's not in the building, that's not a good thing. <laughs> I know, that'd be bad. No, she's totally gotten out before. And, like, left the door open or something for, you know, to carry something in or something like that. And I'd I'd be carrying something up to the door, and I'd see my cat, like, sitting in the garden. And But she just, like, she's never gotten more than, like, five feet from the door. And then she stops, and she's just like, oh, my God. (laughs) 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 Well, Shadow's done that. He's gotten out before, and we had no idea. And he was literally, like, he just came to the back porch and just sat there. And we're like, what the hell is going on? That's what I mean. (laughs) Yeah, no, Shadow's like the most horrible out. cat. The one time, like, we had a mouse in the house. I've never seen him so freaking scared. Did a burn out on the ground or ran <laughs> upstairs. She's like, I screw that. My other cat was like, what the hell is that? Things just jumping around the kitchen. Oh, God, like, I screamed uh, so loud. I freaked out. I was and it's I weird. Because, it. like, I think, like, a couple weeks later. No, no. No, yeah. I'd seen one in the basement, and it was just in a bucket. It was just dead in a bucket like it must have just got in there and not been able to get out and like i told them earlier like yo i seen two mice downstairs in the basement they were just like running along the rafters and i was like all right like that was happening and they were like oh like uh like i I don't think they even believed me then i found one and then they were like oh okay well uh, at least it's dead so we got rid of it (laughs) then it was like a week later i was just like i forget i was i was like moving the blinds away from like our sliding door and all of a sudden, the like, I just mat? see this thing, like, moving. What? The one that was in the mat that I, like, shook the mat out to fix it, and the mouse came out? Or yeah, was that it was the first something one? like that. I can't remember. You but anyway, it? yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the one I, like, literally just, like, swapped out the door. I was like, all right, I'm just going to, like, swap go. it out the door. I don't want to kill it. Like, it's not yeah. going to be able to find its way back in, like, as easy as people say. Yeah, we had Especially mice that traumatic one experience. time, like, years ago. They were getting in the room next to this one is like a storage room and it's unfinished and like in like the front there there was some sort of like way they were getting in i guess and it was like we wound up like it wound up just being like a gap in like the insulation and like yeah we just had to like fill it in like we obviously closed up the hole Mm -hmm. and then filled it in it's like so weird but we had to like set mouse traps and shit yep i think they were stuck in that room though that was the thing although who knows shit because I just remembered. No. Actually, no, they were rats we found at first. The mouse is the one we found in the dog bowl. Oh, yeah. Dude, it was oh a straight-up mouse. Dude, rats. it was, like, this big, and the ears on it were just almost as big as the mouse. What? It was a like, real mouse. Like, it, was it was weird so cool. I was downstairs before, like, I was downstairs before he was, and there was nothing in the water dish. Like, nothing. I just saw my cat, like, over there, but didn't <laughs> see him, like, there was nothing in there. 
and then I come, sna- I come down, or he comes down later. Dude, it came down. I, I smelled see- a dead raccoon, man. It smelled nasty, like a down. dead rodent. You know what I mean? That That's certain nasty. smell like a rodent came- make when they're rotting it. it was like, Ugh. I came down, and he's like, do you smell that? I was like, only over here. And like, I'm at the water dish, but looking at him, and he looks at me, and he's like, babe, turn around. And I'm like, what? And I look in the water dish, and it's just a mouse. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So, like, one of the cats must have been, like, must Got have killed Got him. It. Yeah. <laughs> or the mouse was trying to get a drink and couldn't get out No, I think one of them. <laughs> slipped in. Well, I saw the cat over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I Probably saw drowning the cat over it. There. Yeah, get in there, bitch. Probably stomped <laughs> it into the water. Well, they, apparently, when they get mouses... Or mice. They want to be praised Sometimes, for Sometimes, yeah, they want to be praised. So they, they want to show you, hey, look what I got. Show, you know, like, yeah. Thanks. A lot of cats will bring bring your fucking mouse to like the doorstep. Of, if Everyone hates it, but you have no idea the cat's like, here, I made it so it didn't get in your house. And, like, exactly. Like, into your shit. Like, yeah. I killed it. This is our property, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, my shit, my cat Smokey killed a groundhog the one time. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe it. Oh, I thought you meant my... It. No, we had like cat. three cats in the backyard just pouncing all over this fat groundhog and they killed it that's nuts i've had them catch birds cats bats snakes rabbits raccoon no they got in a fight with a raccoon once and They're my one dangerous. cat got it's a uh, one claw literally ripped out and never grew back yeah raccoons are like super cats yeah basically you don't want to fuck with a raccoon cats don't crack yeah it, it went to town on all if they found like me and my brother were outside and like all of a sudden we heard like, <laughs> like scream we had no idea what was going on and i guess they found the thing like like just like sleeping in their cat house outside and these things were going oh, at it in this cat house just like freaking out and like at one point like all the cats like came out were just like my cat had like a bloody paw and it was just like all these cats were like just like kind of like standing there and this <laughs> thing just like pokes its head out we're like what the fuck what is that and like we get closer and it's like i guess it was like eating their food in there and stuff Probably, too and yeah, then exactly. like it comes out and we're like holy fucking shit it's a raccoon That's like fun. holy fuck it's one reason why i will never put like food outside i know for an animal i mean i, I know i understand like there's outdoor cats and like they get hungry but like you're attracting more animals like that's not yeah, that you are... don't want that and uh do you know chain link front fences just like the regular ones with like the diamond holes and stuff we had a dog named Bruiser, and it was like a German Shepherd mixed with something else. There was a groundhog on the other side of the fence of it, and it grabbed it through just the little thing oh my God. and pulled it through. <laughs> Insane. But this dog was very violent. Like, it, it wasn't violent, like, no purpose. Like, if you were up too high, it started getting mean. Like, it, just, it doesn't want you up that high. You yeah. better get the fuck it down wants here. It to feel, like, superior. Or... or if you wear a hat. Like, it's like it had particular yeah. taste. If you had a hood up and it couldn't see your face. Yeah. Like if it was really dark out and you just walk in the house, That's like scared pup. It's gonna, it's gonna bite. Well, uh, my sister saved it. I guess like she found it when she was living in Florida, and like she seen like a family of puppies and the mother all get shot with a shotgun because like dude what I guess was mad fuck? because it had kids or something like that so he shot them and the whole thing and she seen like there was one under a boat that he didn't see that was like under there or something like that and she jumped over and like went and got it oh my god like straight rescue that's uh-huh. nuts yeah Lori Lori all. you should talk to Such her about it oh yeah that's nuts that is nuts wow that's messed up that dude is some fucked up shit mm-hmm. angry man People are angry. Yeah. What time is it? Chill. 7.30. Yeah. That was a pretty good podcast. I think yeah. we should probably wrap it up. I was going to say, you're trying to like, we could go do something. Go chill. Or All right, everyone. Peace. Be Bye. safe. Yeah, have a good one.